The car starts from rest, accelerates to 36 meters per second over a distance of 72 meters. It then coasts at constant speed for two seconds, then starts braking and comes to rest in three seconds. We want to find the acceleration in the first phase and distance covered while braking and the total time of driving from rest to rest. So first draw a picture to see what's happening. During the first phase, it's accelerating, let's suppose it gets to this point, and then coasting for the, so this, let's say this is accelerating, this is coasting, this is braking. And now, you want to find the acceleration during this time, right? The first phase. So, we want the acceleration in here. And what do we know about uh, this interval? So, it, it, is, it goes from here to here. So, this is our initial situation. This is our final situation for this. And these formulas for constant acceleration motion applies uh, between these two points, right? And let's see, what do we know about the initial situation? Uh, I can put the x-axis, origin of the x-axis here and say its x initial is zero. That's up to me, right? I can set it to be zero. And then what, what else do I know? Do I know the speed here or velocity? Zero. Zero, because it says from rest, right? So v naught is also zero. But that's all I know about this initial situation. What do I know about the final situation? And in this point? 36. Yeah, we, we know that the speed or velocity is 36 meters per second, right? And we know the position, distance, right? From here to here. So if the x-axis starts from here, this is at x equal to 72 meters, right? Now you see, these are my parameters, V and V naught, X and X naught, and acceleration. What's missing? What's missing in this list? Something is not there. T. T. You see, as un either unknown or known. We don't know the time, and we don't care about time at, at this point. So the equation that doesn't have time will solve the problem. So that leads you to, to, to use this equation. So the time-independent equation, it says v squared equal to v naught squared plus 2a times x minus x naught, it will solve the problem. And then put, throw away whatever is 0. So this v naught is 0, x naught is 0. So this reduces to v squared equal to 2a times x and solve for a. We want, we want to find a, right? So solve for a. a is v squared over 2x. That's 36 meters per second squared divided by 2 times 72 meters. Right? We got 36 squared divided by 2 times 72, that's 9 meters. This is meters squared per second squared divided by meter becomes meter per second squared. Right? That's the acceleration. See, if we did one uh, equation, it solves the problem. All right, then it says, the distance covered while braking. Does it make sense so far? Now distance covered while braking. What is that? What is this distance it's asking, right? So again, I can change my x-axis to start from here. I call this, now let me do that. This was the first phase, second phase. And now x starts from here. I put x equal to 0 in here. Right? And I want to find x. Right? So this will be x naught because it starts from there. And what do we what do I know about that interval? 
Do I know the speed here or velocity here? What do you think? What is the velocity? 36. 36. So that is what in our notation? If this is our initial situation, this is final situation, right? So this is initial velocity then. The initial is 36 meters per second. Because this coasting from here to here, it's everywhere. the velocity is 36, right? And then, <coughs> what is the velocity here? It stops here, right? So V is equal to zero here. And what is do, what do we know about here? Do we know the time or acceleration? You have time. It says uh, braking and comes to rest in three seconds. So T equal to three seconds. Right? Does it make sense to set it up? This set it, setting up is the most important. After that, it's not very important. It becomes a math problem. Everyone, you know, easy, easy, right? But setting it up is I put coordinate system starting from the initial situation so that x naught is zero. If you know how far that is, you can put here, and then if this x naught will be different, x will be also different. But you can start the x-axis from there. Time interval is three seconds. <coughs> Initial velocity is 36 meters per second. Initial position, choose to, uh, you choose it to be zero. Uh, you want to find x final because that's the distance you want. And v final is zero. Now, look at these parameters. What's missing? A is missing. So I go to the list of equations, the one that doesn't have A. That solves the problem. So that's x minus x naught equal to v plus v naught divided by 2 times t. We're looking for x. And what is 0? x naught is 0. Throw that away. v is 0. Throw that away. So x becomes v naught divided by 2 times t. v naught is 36 meters per second divided by 2 times uh, 3 seconds. And you see that 18 times 3 is 54 meters, meter per second times second. That's the distance. You see how easy it becomes? It, you need to put an axis on the problem, initial and final, write everything you know about initial and final. And that list, it leads you to what equation to use. Very simple. And this is what we want to practice on, okay? You do this all the time. 